an hour and 16 items later, I'm finally done shopping on Jean. <laughs> Zip Fizz and a quest bar for breakfast this morning. I am just not feeling like making any eggs or anything else. So, this is what I'm having. Everybody's up. <laughs> what do those little minions say? Beedo, beedo, beedo. <laughs> Can we still eat them or are they wrecked? No. Merit said don't. to me, um, Last night when we were putting the groceries, whoa, my hair's crazy, when we were putting the groceries away, he said, what happened to those other bananas that we let sit on the counter and not eat? Why didn't you make banana bread with them? And I said, I threw them away because they were rotting and I do not have time to make banana bread. <laughs> All right, we're gonna check out our advent calendars. We gotta find a better spot to keep these. Can you shake those off? I can. Merit, why, why don't you have anything in your little bag? Did you put it somewhere else? I thought you were gonna keep them all together. Where's day two? You see it? Are they in the same place? Yeah. Oh, no. Is there not a day two? Open up 15. Well, you have to wait till day 15. Here's two. Let's see, Koi. Here's yours. Yeah, same spot. What's it gonna be? Get out, aren't they? Whoa! Hmm? What do you do with that? I don't know. Like a little puzzle ball? No, 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 quite two. That's eight. Is it hard to open? Got it? Mary, I want to see what that is. Do you like take it apart? Did you get it too, Koi? You got something different? Nobody talks in the morning. <laughs> Do you need some help? Uh oh! Don't open a different one. I get it. Koi is known it. for opening a different flap and seeing what's in it. He just can't wait. He's like his mama. Do you need some help? All right, Koi got the same kind of little thing, but his is a square instead of a circle. Somebody's gonna let us know how to do these. Do you like pull them apart and put it back together? Hold it in your hand so I can see. Mary, let me see yours. I don't, yeah, see? You can take it apart and then put it back together? Yeah. You can hang it on your tree. It looks like a little ornament. Did you take yours apart? No. What are you watching over there? Extinct. Extinct? I don't know what that is. Merritt was up at like 5.45 this morning. I was up, but I was in my bed uh, looking at my phone. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Set your alarm so you have enough time to like play with your phone, play on your phone until you have to get up. All right, I got makeup done. I still need to put some lipstick on and do something with my hair. I don't think I'm subbing, stay tuned. Um, we shall see, I don't know what they're doing over there. <laughs> all right, y'all, I feel like I have a lion's mane today. I curled it all. I really love that bedhead curler and like the curls that it gives me because they're just kind of fun and like messy and wavy, but I can never make the top of my hair look right like with the curls it always looks funny and I always feel like I have to pull it back a headband would be cute but I just don't feel like wearing a headband all day so I just pulled it back we'll see how it goes anyway um uh, <laughs> I'm ready at least it's so dark over here today what's going on I feel like I'm my face is all like brown and muddy but I didn't do my makeup any different maybe it's just the lighting anyway it doesn't matter um Okay, I think I'm home today. I've got several things I need to get done. Uh, I forgot about the book countdown. I mean, whoops, I asked the boys, I was like, do y'all even wanna do the book countdown? Like, what's the plan? Because last year I feel like we didn't even, we did it, but it was a struggle every night just because we're so busy to actually read the book and get it done. But Koi said, meh, I could take it or leave it. Merit's like, no, we should do it. So now I'm like, we're already a day late. And it takes me forever to fit all the books in the little baggies, but. It's fine, it's a Christmas memory, we'll do it. If we don't get to it every night, we just don't get to it every night, you'll be okay. So I'll get that done today. I need to do a little project for my mama for Christmas. She knows what it is, but I'm not gonna say it just in case um, she doesn't know what it is, but I gotta do it on the computer and get that ordered. Um, I need to, I've had this stuff out forever. Um, 
hello there are school pictures and then i do the little sheets i know you've seen me do it before i've been doing it for years it's like a little it's, it's really called like a first day of school sheet but it's on um it like asks uh What's your favorite subject? Who's your best friend? What's your favorite movie? Like all that kind of stuff like about that year. And then you put their picture on it and you save it year after year. And I keep them in little, um, like, uh, not baggies. What are those things called? <laughs> They're like, uh, plastic folders. I don't know. <laughs> I have no brain, but I'll show you later what I'm talking about. They're just like, page plastic pages that you page protectors i keep them in those and then i know this is crazy but like when we go um to like uh at the end of the year for graduation parties like the mamas will have like all their pictures up and all the stuff from when they were like mccoy and Merritt's age so i'm like already thinking ahead no i do not want my babies to graduate i never want them to grow up but i'm just thinking ahead that how cute is this going to be like hung up at their graduation parties and you will see the pictures and this is where my mind goes. Anyway, I'm just going to be prepared, y'all. But I just love to do it. I've been doing it since Merritt was in preschool. And it's just fun to look back at their pictures. And they sign their name on it so you can see their, like, handwriting and how it progresses and all that. It's just a cute little thing to do. So, I need to get that done today because I'm sick of that sitting out on my counter. So, I pulled that out. And also, I do, I don't know if you can see that right here. I put their school picture in, like, a little page protector that's a magnet. And it goes on the fridge so then you can see their pictures throughout the year throughout the years I need to get those up to and then I need to just like um cut the rest of them up and like I probably won't mail anything to Mississippi I'll just bring them with me because now we're so close to going um but like grandma and aunts and uncles and whatever give those pictures to them because I'm sick of them sitting on my counter anyway I need to do that as well I need to make some earrings I think I said that already I just have some odds and ends to do and then I think I'm going to do the keto lasagna tonight because we're home um and I'm probably going to be home, so it'll just be easier for me to do that one and save, like, the French dip. And what was the other one? Oh, keto stroganoff is super easy to do. I have to, like, put a star by the ones that have, like, fresh stuff. Like, I have fresh mushrooms I need to use for the keto stroganoff. And then I have those, um, kind of, like, hoagie artesian, art, artisan, artesian, <laughs> artisan buns to use for the French just stuff that is gonna, like, gonna go bad and I need to use it and like that stuff for the uh lasagna is like ricotta and different like meat like I just need to use it now and make that now and not wait and the rest of the stuff is like soups and stuff that can wait so not that you care but I think I'm gonna make a lasagna tonight and I would like to get a treat done tonight just to mark one off the list because we got so many but we'll see we might not get that done um what else? I need to finish decorating. I need to sit down and like really look at that hush and see what I want to do with that and get all of that done. So we got a lot of things to do today. So come along for this fun Tuesday of Vlogmas. <laughs> all right, here's the little sheets. We're just doing it real quick. Are you going to do the whole thing or you want me to write it? Are you going to write it? Okay, that's fine. So it just, I don't know where I got these. Y'all Pinterest somewhere a million years ago and I printed them all out for every year for the boys. Favorite food, favorite TV show, movie, and place to visit. To the teachers? No, then I keep them. And then I put their picture here. It says first day of school, but I always put their school pictures on there. Um, no, no, well, do it. let me get you a pen. All right, they want to fill them out this year. I feel like maybe Merritt filled his out last year. I can't remember. Koi is just losing room here for all of his friends. <laughs> you got a lot of friends, Koi. You're such a little social butterfly. Anyway, I will put their pictures on and... Put them back away when we get home. We need to get ready. Okay, I got them dropped off. They finished these. I do not have any more page protectors. I just ordered some more off Amazon. I don't know what I did with all of them. I had a bunch, but I looked downstairs and that box was empty too. So I use them for like recipes and this stuff. I, I use page protectors for everything, so I'm not surprised I don't have any. Can we talk about how cute these um, little nutcracker pins are y'all i don't remember where i got these i want to say dollar general i don't know like last year they're so cute anyway um they finished everything out Merritt wants to be a farmer surprise his friends they like to play football in foursquare mac and cheese <laughs> totally rabbits which i don't let them watch because i cannot stand it's so dumb <laughs> eight seconds is his favorite movie i don't know about that i think he's only seen it a few times but he does like it uh black heels um for his favorite place McCoy likes to eat steak he loves sean the sheep jungle cruise i don't know about that's his favorite movie but he likes it um it's hard to like when you're doing something like this to like choose your favorite you get stressed out anyway <laughs> 
his favorite place is Mississippi, not surprising. Um, he wants to be a PBR bull rider and an NFL player when he grows up. Reach for the stars, buddy. Um, all of his friends, and I think he wanted to list more, but he had to go. Um, I'll leave it out, let him put more friends on if he wants. Um, and then they like to play football. So now I'll just take, I think this is the picture that I put on there. No, it's not. It must be this one. Yeah, the smaller one I must put on. And then, um, actually, I better pull that out and make sure. And then this bigger picture is the one that I put um, in these little page protectors and then I just give away the rest. So let me get busy doing this so I can get my table cleaned back off. All done. I mean, do you ever just stop and think, how is my tiny little baby in the fourth grade? Like, when did that happen? Like, we were just like having his first Christmas. I mean, it goes so fast, y'all. <laughs> I say this all the time with my mother-in-law, Craig's mama, obviously, when um, the boys were little, I don't remember if it was Merritt or McCoy, I think it was Merritt, she told me, or maybe both, she said, um, you know, the days are long, but the years are short, it's gonna go by so fast, and in that moment I was like, okay, I'm dying, like, I was just like trying to keep my head above water at that point, like, it's, you know, I mean, kids, babies are a lot, anyway, and now I'm just like, she was right, like, there it went. <laughs> It just goes so fast. Anyway, um, I do my best to cherish every moment, every moment with them. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. We run around like crazy and that's fine too. And they just grow up. You just blink and they're just grown up. Like, I can't, and then like, I'm like thinking about, you know, how I said I would hang these up at their senior, um, at their graduation party or whatever. I might not even do that. I don't know, but I think it's a good idea right now. But it's like, how many more school pictures is he gonna have? Like, it's crazy to think about that in numbers. And then I think about like, the seniors that are seniors now. And like, we had, um, well, I guess it was the juniors we had in sixth grade, um, like Sunday school. And now they're like juniors. And that seemed like yesterday that we had those kids in our Sunday school class. So it's like, it's gonna go so fast. Anyway, all I can do is keep going and cherish the little things and make memories with them and I hope they always love me, y'all. <laughs> all right, I got them. Oh, why aren't we focusing? That's a lot of faces. Maybe it's confused. Um, <laughs> I got them all on here. The biggest transformation for me is merit. Like, I can't, I can't even, I can't even handle it. At least Koi, he still pretty much looks like himself. Look at this one. Look at him. Oh my gosh. I mean, he looks older in his first grade picture than he does in his second grade picture. I love that. Yes, McCoy, stay my baby forever. <laughs> I love having these on the fridge. I think they like to look at them too. So that is where they go. Although Merritt's running out of room, so we might have to refigure this next year. I'm having very like punky Brewster vibes over here with this hair, like straight out the 80s. Anyway, I forgot to tell you, I have my Christmas leggings on today and of course my favorite Walmart sweatshirt. I am sitting here making these earrings and I just was checking my comments and I got another comment. This is horrible lighting over here. Um, about where Mary found those earrings. I got word from Mary <laughs> that she is finding them on AliExpress and I was like, you search better than I do because I have never seen the cactus ones. Um, and I, I have to admit, I did not search AliExpress this year for Christmas earrings just because I was like, oh, I have enough. And then she sent me those and now I'm like, I want more earrings. I want more earrings. I really want something with some pink in it. Um, I have the I have the snowflake earrings that are like um, rhinestone and they're actually kind of a beige, but when you put them with pink, it brings the pink out in them. But otherwise I don't have any pink um, Christmas earrings. And I, well, I shouldn't say I don't have any, but I would like some more pinky ones. So I wish I would have looked too, but Long story long, she's getting them on AliExpress, so y'all go and look now and buy them and you'll have them by next Christmas. <laughs> Cause you have to buy those so, so far in advance. But if you want like Valentine's ones or Easter ones, maybe look now and they'll come in in time. But I mean, honestly, just go get the ones you want and then you'll have them for next Christmas, right? It's fine. Um, I don't know. I've been looking on Etsy and Amazon and there's different like specialty boutiques that have the cutest earrings, but they're like $30 and they're so cute and I'm sure they're worth it. But when I know I can get them for like $1.99 on AliExpress, it's so hard <laughs> for me to buy full price earrings like that. Anyway, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. But uh, I don't know. I would like some fun pink ones, but I don't know. I don't know what I'll do about that. I might um, 
really, I should just wear, when I want a pink earring, I should just wear my pom-pom earrings because they're like very whimsical in Christmas anyway. So I don't need to buy any right now. I can just get on AliExpress and order some and have them for next year, right? <laughs> Let me know if y'all find um find the ones that I got on AliExpress or if you find some even cuter ones. Um, I don't know if you could find cuter ones, but more earrings uh, for Christmas. I feel like an investigative reporter, y'all. This just in. I checked the Sheen website and I am finding some of the earrings that she said she got from AliExpress. I think, I don't know if they're like the same company or they have the same stuff or how that works, but I see the gingerbread houses right here. Um, and I saw the trees too, or at least some of the trees that are similar to the ones I wore yesterday. Now Sheen takes a while yet, like, but you could get them by, I think two weeks is what Sheen is about. So you could possibly still get them by Christmas. So check Sheen or Sheen, I don't know how to say it, S-H-E-I-N um, for the Christmas earrings. Y'all are cute, y'all. <laughs> An hour and 16 items later, I'm finally done shopping on Sheen. <laughs> it all says it's gonna get here by like December 12th, I think it said. So that's like plenty of time. I got some earrings, I got some headbands, I got some, they have such cute things for kids. I had seen, I follow the Certified Celebrator um, on Instagram. She is just so much fun. Like she is just always celebrating and sprinkles and big fun earring, just like everything that I love. And she had gotten her boy some stuff from Sheen. She in, I don't know how to say it. And um, I thought in the back of my head, oh, I should look. And that was like months, not months ago, but like a couple weeks ago. And I never did. And so I was looking at the earrings. I was like, oh, let me check out the kid stuff. Cute things, y'all. I also got me a few more sweatshirts because I loved that sweatshirt. My hair, I just sort of like, I was trying to get it out of my face. Um, I love that sweatshirt that I got that says I'm fine, everything's fine. It's so, like that material is so dang soft and those sweatshirts are like 10 bucks. It's crazy cheap. And I did just wash it and I folded it up and tried it back on and everything and it's still so nice. So like it's clearly good quality. So I did get me a few more. Somebody needs to come stop me. <laughs> I am literally the crazy Christmas lady at this point, but it's fine. Okay, now I have got to make these earrings. I did, between all that, I switched laundry, folded my clothes, put everything away because I had like a laundry basket on my floor from last week yet that I needed to put away. So I put all of that away. I started another load. I just heard it ding, so I need to go switch it out. And then, um... I'm gonna finish these earrings finally. And then I gotta get to my computer, make that thing for my mama, and um, edit yesterday's thumbnail too. So it's like almost 11 o'clock. Time suck. <laughs> okay, shopping is done, earrings are done, none of the computer work is done, but I am gonna stop and have some lunch. Craig is, um, he's got a bunch of meetings in town today, several places he's gotta go, and just, I don't know what he's doing anyway. <laughs> tax stuff and bank stuff and whatever anyway he's not coming in for lunch i don't think um and if he does like whatever he'll just have a sandwich too so it's fine i really want to watch yellowstone so i was hoping he would come in for lunch today but maybe tonight anyway after the boys go to sleep because yellowstone is not for children anyway <laughs> um i'm just gonna make me a sandwich have some chips with it a diet dr pepper and <laughs> Then I'm gonna get my computer work done. I feel like this vlog is gonna be boring and me messing with my hair the whole time. Um, I got the wish list of my nieces and niece and nephew in New Orleans. So I was looking at some stuff to get them for Christmas. They just did like Amazon wish list, which is right up Aunt Haley's alley. So I need to get that ordered. I need to finish my mom's project on my computer. Uh, I did switch the laundry around, but I thought right now I would do my advent tea. Um, day two, let's see what we get here. Where is day two? Here it is. It's got a cute little girl on it, or maybe a lady. I don't know. The lady. It is called Festive Spice. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Okay, let's hope that it is like... Y'all haven't seen the video from yesterday yet, so you can't tell me, like, why that, like, went awry and went everywhere, so I don't know what to do about that. Um, so hopefully it doesn't, like, I don't know, get everywhere in my cup. Let's see. It's, it feels like that's, you just stick it in your glass, right? Speaking of glass, or should I say mug, um, Jingle and Flamingo, y'all. Oh my gosh, I got this at Home Goods or TJ Maxx years ago. 
All right, I'm gonna make my tea. I'm gonna sit back down and we'll get some stuff done. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like the days where I sub and have to run around like crazy, it's a more fun vlog and when I'm at home and can actually do stuff and craft and like get things done and cook, I'm like, I'm on my computer all day. It's so fun to watch me. Anyway, I'll try to get some more stuff done later this afternoon. All right, I think this is doing better already. Maybe that one just had like a hole in it or something. I don't think this is coming out everywhere, so hopefully it'll be good. What did I say it was called? Oh yeah, festive spice. Mm, I can't wait. All right, it's about 3.45. The boys will be home soon. I was gonna go ahead and put together um, the lasagna for tonight because it's kind of a process and once they get home, it's like chaos. And so if I, I mean, I'll still be putting it together once they get home, but at least it'll be done. And then I can just put, I think it takes an hour to bake if I remember right. Um, and then I can just have it ready to go and just put it in the oven. I did not finish the project for my mom yet, um, but I'm working on it. It's, it doesn't take long once I, it's kind of, I have to do a lot of pictures with it and I have to decide which ones and I have to include my sister and my brother on this too. <laughs> Just trying to get all the pictures and then once I get all the pictures it's super easy to put together um what I'm gonna do though real quick here I've been this has been on my list for like ever is to figure out where I can store the air fryer and the crock pot I don't even know what else is in this little um appliance garage or whatever this is I took I had one of these at my old house and I took it out although I don't think that's painted behind there and I really did love it because I have more counter space but uh, I don't know. I feel like it might start looking really cluttered if I take that out and have everything up on the counter. Anyway, right now I'm not going to take it out because I'm not doing that right now. But, um, and I have this paint. Like I have this blue paint somewhere or turquoise, whatever color it is that I could do. I could paint it. I don't know if I want to take it out or not. Anyway, um, I just, I need to get this off of my counter. Um, I keep my, uh, KitchenAid and my toaster. Where am I here? My toaster out on the counter all the time, but this stuff does not need to be out. And then I, I wanted to mention also, I had gotten that really big air fryer that I reviewed for y'all. Oh, was that in October? I love it. Like it is amazing, but y'all, it's just too big. Like, and I think that's how big they all are. If you want like a bigger one for like a whole family, but like, I just can't do it. Like it's too big. So I have it over here and it's amazing. Great. Like I still love it, but, uh, I have it sitting right here because my sister said, please bring it home. Um, <laughs> me because she wanted it she has more kitchen storage than me maybe but um or maybe she just wants to have it out but I just and my um nephew loves to cook too and that one had so many features and stuff like it was nice but like I just can't do it like I just cannot have that big old thing and I do love the air fryer and I love our little green one or turquoise oh, I can't do colors today aqua um and I we mainly just cook french fries in it so it's like one, and I don't eat french fries, so like one batch in that little thing of the french fries is plenty. Like sometimes I'll do, I, I really like to do those pickles, those keto pickles, and I like to do like keto chicken, um, chicken strips and stuff. But like, that's once in a blue moon. I just cannot have that big old thing. I just can't do it. Y'all comment down below, what do you do if you had to have a big air fryer because you have more people in your family, but like no space to put that thing. Anyway, <laughs> that's what's happening. So if you wonder why I haven't used it, that's why. Um, so I'm just going to clean this out here a minute and see if I can get, I at least want to get my air fryer and my crock pot in this thing. And this is like a vacuum that I had that I have not used in forever. And it's, there's a plug in inside this little deal. Um, and I would just keep it plugged in in there to clean up little messes and stuff, especially when they were little. And I mean, I could still use that, but we usually just sweep everything up and then, or, and then I'll just like put it in a dustpan or we'll use my little, my big Dyson. Um, so I just need to like put that somewhere else that doesn't need to be in there. I don't know what else is in here. So uh, let's get to organizing. All right. So turns out it is painted back there. Y'all stay tuned. Um, I have this little, it's like a little breakfast sandwich maker that is amazing. We used to use it all the time, but now I just do like the egg and stuff in a pan and I don't really need this because we just, I don't know. It like heats like, um, biscuits and stuff up but we usually just like make biscuits and do it that way so i think i'm going to donate this i'll ask craig because he really did like it at one point but we just don't use it anymore i mean i've used it in years then i have my little dash cookers which obviously i love i'm not getting rid of those and then i have this basket of 
a food processor and a mixer and all that, which I mean, the mixer needs to say, but that food processor, I really only use like once, maybe twice a year. It probably doesn't need to be in here. So I'm gonna pull all this out and see what I can get to go back in there. Woohoo! Okay, I got the air fryer and the crock pot. Uh, they're just kind of sh shoved in there, but it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> and I got my little Nutri Blender and my little Dash waffle maker. I put the other one away because it is my, um, Pumpkin one, so I don't need it out. And then I just stuck this up in here for now because I'm going to be making those muffins soon. So now that is closed. And I did have to reorganize this down here so that I could get um, more of my stuff in there. I did put my little food processor in it. This is like Jenga. I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to like this, but I just had to get this done for right now so I can make this lasagna. And then I got to looking, and y'all, this little thing that's like my little chopper has a cheese grater on it. I've just never used it. Um, you know, I got that new Pampered Chef cheese grater because I needed one. Um, so I need to use this more. It's got a lot of different little attachments on it. Anyway, I have a ton of um, Calphalon cookware, like all sorts of loaf pans and um, 9 by 13s and 9 by 9s and um, uh, angel food cake and bump paint. I mean, all that I got when I got married. And I just, I mean, I don't ever use them, but I don't know. I'm just keeping them down here because you never know, right? And then I have a ton of Pyrex too. That's my like baking dish of choice if I don't use my Fiesta, which I'm going to use tonight because it's nice to like look through it. Well, I mean, this is all wedding presents, y'all. I've never bought, I've never bought any cookware really, except for that turquoise pan that I got <laughs> from Home Goods a couple more this summer. I guess I got it. Anyway, um, and that's my real, fr like my, um, real fryer like not an air fryer like a real fryer what's it called like a deep fat fryer anyway i only make one thing ever in there and it's um donuts like sugar donuts anyway um i don't even know why i'm telling you this but this is what this looks like now and then i can still get to my mixer easily so that is what's gonna go in there for now anyway and then i did um get rid of well not get rid of i'll take these two our donations if i can ever find one that's open i had to take all of those clothes that i had in the back of the car that i was trying to take to the donation place that was never open i had to put all those in the garage because we needed the space for katie's wedding to haul like decorations and stuff around so i don't know i need to figure out what's open because i need to drop this stuff off now too because i think i'm going to give away that little sandwich maker and then um this is just more pyrex which honestly i should say because i do love pyrex best but like i have fiesta wear pie bulk pie dishes and i have so many loaf pans and i end up using those wilton long skinny ones most of the time anyway and then i don't even know what this was from but it was just stuck in there i haven't used it for years so feeling good about that uh now i just need to get the lasagna made all right they came out with their guns and then decided to take a football break it is beautiful y'all it's like 60 degrees in iowa in well tomorrow is december that is unheard of now tomorrow um, it's gonna be even nicer, I think, and we are going to, um, try to get, like, the pumpkins and the mums and all my fall stuff out of my front porch because it's still all there, and then I won't take a ton of stuff out for Christmas because I don't want to have to clean it up come, like, January, but I'll take a few little things and just kind of make it cute out in the front porch, so hopefully I'll get that done tomorrow. Right now, I've got to go make that lasagna, y'all. keep putting it off. <laughs> Okay, you need Parmesan cheese. Um, what is this? Mozzarella slices, sausage, hamburger is going now, chicken breast, um, whatever you like. I think you can use turkey too, but I always use chicken. Ricotta cheese, and then eggs, I think. And I, I can't remember if I can link this one or not. I feel like I can. If not, always you can search Maria Emmerich protein noodle low carb lasagna. That's the one that I use. I need to get the tomato sauce. And I think. I have everything else already out. Oh, I need a yellow onion chop, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use, um, like dried onion because it's easier. But now i got to find it in this mess. <laughs>
Okay, I got two layers done. Now I'm just gonna put a little Parmesan cheese on the top and then it'll go in the oven for 25 minutes covered and then 25 minutes uncovered and it'll be delicious. All right, the lasagna is in. I'm gonna do these books quick. I don't even know. I kinda just wanna leave them like this and just let them pick out of them. I love this tradition, but like I said, it just gets to be so much in the evenings. I don't know. I'm not ready to give it up yet, so I'm gonna put them in the bags i made these bags oh gosh i don't was coy born i think he was just a baby and i got all of this christmas fabric and the ribbons um and i reuse them every year and they're all different sizes that's the pain is trying to figure out which bag goes with which that's why i'm hesitating otherwise it would be super easy but i'll go through and pick out ones that i know um are too little for them now or they wouldn't want to read and then um I'll put them all in the bags and then this will go over by the tree and they can pick one every night or at least every night that we can remember. <laughs> all right, I whittled it down to 25 um, because in the past I've put like two and sometimes even three books in one pouch so that we could read them all because we have so many Christmas books. So I think if we just have one a night that might be easier. So, okay, I'll show you the ones that we're gonna keep. Uh, the crayons. Christmas. We love these crayons books. Well, we did anyway. We don't, now that they can read so well, y'all, we, we hardly read to them anymore. It's really sad. So that's why I'm like, we need to do this. Even if they just read to each other or we read it like, like Merritt reads it and we all sit around and watch, you know, or whatever, like it's part of like our Christmas tradition and it's good for them to read. Anyway, I mean, they're, they're reading, they're just reading chapter books and not so much these books anymore, but they'll still love these. So anyway, we have the crayons, Christmas, Tractor Max Saves Christmas, Oh What a Christmas. Um, I tried to pick all like the boyish kind of funny ones that they really like. Uh, Lego, uh, 12 Days of Iowa. One of my friends from Texas sent me this or sent the boys this a couple years ago. It's really cute. I cannot remember where these came from. Koi, come here. Who gave you this? Or did they give it to Merritt? Maybe JoJo or Aunt Brandy? I cannot remember this book. Do you remember reading it? We're gonna have to watch Vlogmas back and see. I think maybe somebody gave you this last year mccoy didn't they well don't oh is that the book for tonight or the one that we missed from last night well you got to go do it with america because it's pick your path what about this one do you remember this one no. i don't either but they're so cute anyway that's going in um an otis christmas all of the other reindeer mistletoe pete saves christmas these are so fun. Cookie source, Christmas, Santa's underwear, how to catch an elf, Santa bear. If you take a mouse to the movies, I love these. Classic, how the Grinch stole Christmas, gotta have that one. We love these too. I know this is like uh, not for their age range, but they love the ones that you can like scratch and then smell them. They're so fun. And I had this one as a kid too. Um, Charlie, of course, Reed Drummond's book, the Chris and the Christmas Kitty, a Berenstein bear. Cowboy Christmas, and then instead of this night before Christmas, oh, well, the night before the night before Christmas, and then instead of this version, we're gonna do the Cowboys night before Christmas um, this year, and then we'll just have 25, that'll be good. And then these are the ones that I didn't do. I love all these, y'all, I just, there's just too many. And it's just, I don't, some of them are just getting to be too babyish for them. So anyway, these are the ones we're gonna do. Now I'm gonna try to fit them in their sacks. How does it go? Do you like read it and then you go to a different W I N T E R? Do you have to like pick your page or something? Oh, this is so fun. I, guess, I don't know who gave you this. Oh my goodness. I gotta watch Vlogmas. I feel like he got it for Christmas last year. Oh, it's so cute. And then you choose which one you want to do and you turn to that page. Of course, we're gonna do the abominable snow, snowman yeti. I mean, duh. <laughs> I just had an epiphany. Mary, did you send them those books? I feel like one of you, one of my subbies sent them to them now that I think about it. Somebody help me remember. <laughs> Cowboys hung decorations and stu stood back to admire the Christmas cactus. Ain't much Dwight admitted downright ugly. Daryl cracked. Santy can't put presents under that dub groaned off to bed, cowpoke. It's done, y'all, and the tradition continues. Okay, we took out two already since we missed two nights. Um, and what we're gonna do this year, I think, is once we're done reading it, I'm gonna have them put them back in the bag and we're gonna put them under the table in the playroom. That way when we're done, um, like on Christmas Day or whatever, they're all 
um, bagged back up and I can just put them back in this and then I won't have to do it next year. Y'all remind me. <laughs> Almost ready. I'm just doing some Brussels sprouts up here in the microwave and some garlic knots for the boys and then we'll take that out. Koi is busy begging me to help him fold his clothes. <laughs> Oh, bless it. Worst chore in the house, y'all. Worst chore. Oh, y'all. <laughs> it's a sight to behold. It was all bubbling, but I was trying to clean off. the All the sides got all black, and I was trying to clean it off my pan. I hope I didn't ruin it. I always, I'm always scared to use my Fiesper because I don't want anything to happen to it. Anyway, um, this has to, like, sit for 10 minutes, I think, and kind of just, like, all meld together. And then I've got my garlic knots going in here, and then I'll take the Brussels sprouts out, and we'll have supper. Food's ready! And we have an alarm going off because there's smoke everywhere. <laughs> it's fine. Supper is served. Yummy lasagna, Brussels sprouts. I have a little um, just keto bun. And then they have garlic knots that are a little burnt on the bottom. Hopefully they won't notice. <laughs> we're going to have our yummy supper and watch Elf. And then we're going to finish folding clothes. And um, yeah, this is Elf, isn't it? What is it? Elf. It's Elf. Hey Farmer, you haven't been on the vlog in a while. Tell everybody hi. I told Craig earlier that I think I'm going to um, do chores with them one morning. Y'all liked the cattle working so much. I guess I can do that for y'all. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, um, we're going to do that. I'm going to sit down. I don't even think I'm going to work on that project anymore today. I'm just going to wait till Thursday probably because I've got a sub tomorrow and I'm not going to want to do it tomorrow night. Um, it is really fun. Like it's not, I like to do it because it's like a design kind of project, but I just got to get everything ready. Anyway, um, and I need to edit this video and then I need to do a little more shopping for my nieces and nephews. So I'll do that while we're watching the movie. Okay. I crashed my computer. I shouldn't say I crashed it. Something happened to it. I had to restart it. It's frozen, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what's going on. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Hopefully you see this video and my computer is not dead. Anyway, uh, I need to go work on that. I packed my lunch for tomorrow. I just did leftover lasagna. I'm excited to have that again. Um, I got my presents ordered for my nieces and nephews. I'll show y'all all that when it comes in. Um, I'm gonna go try to fix that computer now and edit this video. Thanks so much for following me along. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you tomorrow, y'all. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye.